Kylie Dodsworth and today I want to talk to you about premenstrual syndrome or PMS which most women know about and most men know about too because of their women. So what is PMS? PMS is actually a syndrome as we say which means it's a, a cluster of things that can happen. So women can notice that they actually get a mood change where they might get more teary or more irritable. They might feel a bit more full in the breasts or have some tenderness of the breasts or even some nipple tenderness. Uh, we tend to get some changes in skin sometimes with some acne happening. Sometimes we don't sleep so well. You might notice some fluid retention so that your rings don't fit properly or a bit of fluid in the legs. There's a range of things that can happen. Now that happens because of hormonal changes in our body, uh, which can go along with the female cycle. But the reality is that we should be able to do the female cycle without it actually upsetting the apple cart. So if we're getting significant premenstrual syndrome, then it means we're probably not getting a very good balance of our hormones. So rather than it being a slight wave, it becomes a pretty stormy ride for people. So looking at why are my hormones not as balanced as they should be uh, is really important. So in order to understand that, we need to know well, what are these female hormones and what is normal in our body. So the two female hormones are estrogen and progesterone. So estrogen, we release that really throughout the female cycle. We get a nice peak in the mid-cycle when we're releasing an egg or ovulating, but we tend to have estrogen present all the time. Then we have progesterone, which we only actually release if you've actually ovulated. So you have to release an egg, and then the part of the ovary that made that egg forms something called the corpus luteum. I don't worry about the name, but basically it makes progesterone. So we have to release the egg form this corpus luteum and then we make the progesterone. So if we're not ovulating properly, you don't make progesterone properly. That can lead to a situation where you can have what's called estrogen dominance. So estrogen dominance might be that we're overproducing estrogen and still have some progesterone, or we might be producing normal estrogen and not enough progesterone. So either of those factors can be true. And when you have more estrogen than progesterone, as far as the natural balance goes, we become estrogen dominant, and that tends to cause these premenstrual symptoms to happen. So then we have to look at, okay, well, how do we make sure we get good ovulation? And how do we also make sure we can lower the estrogen down if we've got too much? So there's a beautiful herb called Vitex agnus castus, or chaste tree, which actually really helps to regulate the female cycle beautifully. It helps us to get ovulations to happen and hormonal regulation to happen. So a thousand milligrams of that a day can actually really help the cycle. It doesn't matter, you take it every day, so don't worry about when to use it in the cycle. You just take it every day, but that really helps to get things into good balance. Vitamin B6 is really important for hormonal regulation as well. If we're low in B6, we tend to get more of this PMS type picture. So vitamin B6 is a really important thing to actually look at to manage symptoms if you've got them. Evening primrose oil can actually help with that fluid retention and the breast fullness and those sorts of things. Magnesium is a bit of a muscle relaxant and it helps with the hormonal production as well. If we're really overproducing the estrogen, then we might need to help clear that estrogen away through the liver. And our liver needs um, particular things called um, indoles. They come from the, the family of vegetables called brassicas, which you might know as cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, you know, some of these sorts of foods. So eating those foods can be really important to help clear the estrogen away. Uh, and or you can actually take some indoles as a supplement called indole 3-carbonol or I3C, or something called diindole methyl, which is D-I-M for short. So they're the, the supplement versions of what we get from those brassica family of vegetables, and they support the liver with detoxification of the estrogen. So if you're having some premenstrual symptoms, have a think about what you need to do to rebalance your body. And uh, when it gets back into normal balance, there can be some fluctuations you know, along the way, but really we should be able to sail through the month and be our normal functioning, happy selves all of the time. So let's aim to create better health. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Dr. Kylie Dodsworth, and you can check me out at the website. See you later.